Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a makeup tutorial. So today's look is going to be obviously what I'm wearing on my eyes today and I'm super excited because I am using the new Kathleen Light or Morphe X Kathleen Lights palette. I actually posted this exact same look on my Instagram and you guys loved it and requested a makeup tutorial so here it is. First of all, I just want to say congratulations to Kathleen Lights for this palette. Even if she doesn't see this video, like, congrats, girl. She kills it every time she comes out with collabs. And this palette just spoke to me. It just, oh, I mean, look at all those warm colors. I really like that she added a pop of color. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more tutorials using the Morphe X Kathleen Light palettes, definitely let me know because I have so many looks in mind that I can just, I can go on and on and on. So if you guys want to see how I recreated this smoky plum makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm taking this LA Girl primer and I'm applying that all over the lids. I decided to switch it up because you guys know that I'm always using the MAC Cosmetics Painterly Paint Pods. I do like to distribute this with some sort of synthetic brush because I feel like that's the way that it works the best. So just apply that and make sure that you spread it like butter. For that, I'm going to take this powder and this is the Tarte Cosmetics powder and lights. I really been liking this to set my eyes because it's it's so velvety. So that's what I'm using for the eyes and then after that we are just going to move on to the eyeshadow just so that everything goes nice and smooth. After that I'm going to take this pukey poopy baby color and this is the Kathleen X Morphe palette. I'm applying that to the upper crease with a fluffy brush. I don't think this is a specific branding brush. I believe I just bought it off of eBay a while ago and I'm applying that again to the upper crease and making sure I blend everything. My second color is going to be this chestnut brown and I'm taking that on a pro angled shading brush. This is by Beauty Junkies and guys this brush is amazing. I really like it because I don't have a specific defined crease so this just really allows me to get in there and just stab my eye. Well not really stab it but stab my crease so it can really blend in and I'm applying that onto the crease directly and blending it upwards as you can see to blend everything nicely. I'm going to pick up this black shade and I'm applying that with a pencil brush just on the outer V of the eye. I'm grabbing a little bit at a time and then blending it in. You definitely don't want to go crazy with black because it is one of those colors that is hard to blend once you've applied it everywhere and then you yeah it just makes a mess so just take a little bit at a time and then start blending it inwards this is a sigma brush i will have the exact name if you guys are interested in the brushes i usually don't name brushes because i don't feel like you guys need to have exactly the ones that i have Next, I'm going to take this NYX Glitter Primer, and I'm applying that on the lids. I really wanted this next shade to be super pigmented, and I applied this plummy shade. Now, it didn't exactly scream plum once I applied it on the lids, so I did decide to go in with a different color and just apply a little bit more of a glitteriness to the top. So, next, I'm going to go in with this little eyeshadow and this is the touch and sold metalist liquid foil and glitter shadow duel and the color that I use is Lottie and as you can see I just used the glitter side it is so pretty I really really liked it and I feel like it just made that eyeshadow pop even more after that I'm going to pick up my favorite liquid eyeliner this is the nyc black eyeliner i love it it just slays my liner for me so i'm taking that and i do like to look down when i'm applying my wing liner because i like this to be sharp sharp enough to cut a bitch i'm just kidding but i do like to do my wing liner a little bit thick towards the end and then just drag it inwards and you are done with the liner girl Moving on to lashes, I'm taking Barbie Lash. These were sent out to me and they are gorgeous. I mean, can we just talk about these for a moment? They are so pretty. Now, the trick to getting your lashes looking very perky and so your eyes don't look droopy is to look straight up and then applying them 
to your lashes. This little lash tool has been helping me a lot. It was only a dollar. I will link it for you guys. If you guys have lash issues where you can't apply them, try this. It is a life changing i promise i'm taking the becca ever matte poreless primer if you are oily i highly recommend this it keeps me matte all day and even though i am using another matte foundation it's just to prevent it i'm taking a little bit of the professional and i'm applying that to the areas where i have large pores for my foundation i'm taking the frankie rose matte perfection foundation in the color gold i did a whole review with a demo on it if you guys haven't seen it go check it out it is the last video i i uploaded i believe and i'm going to apply that with a beauty blender i just feel like it blends out better this way and even though i do like it with a brush the beauty blender just always makes my skin look a little bit more flawless if you will for my concealer, I'm taking the NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Ginger, and I'm applying that to the sides of my nose. I really like to do this step because I just feel that once I bring the concealer to the sides of my nose, it just really, it really snatches it, and it makes it look a lot slimmer because I do have a wider nose. So if maybe you are wanting to contour your nose, just make sure you're bringing the concealer to the sides. And I'm also gonna bring that down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and to the center just to balance everything, just so my eyes are not super white and then the rest of my face is bronzy. Do you know what I mean? Once I have that all blended, I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and I am baking. We are baking underneath our eyes because we don't want no creases, especially me. I have oily skin for the 30th time I've said it, but I do have oily skin, so I will do anything to prevent my makeup from falling off my face at the end of the day, and it's just it just really helps. Next, for contour and bronzer, I'm going to take the Beauty Junkies Contour Palette, and I'm going to be mixing these two shades. They have warm undertones, and I'm applying that to my cheekbones. This little brush is for from Vanity Planet and I really like it to just chisel out my cheekbones and I'm applying that to the forehead as well again just to create a little bit more depth naturally where the sun kisses your face that's where you kind of want to apply the bronzer so you look nice and tan for my inner corner I'm taking this first color from that Kathleen palette and oh my god I love this this definitely has to be my favorite shadow out of the whole palette it's just so creamy it's so pigmented and it just makes my eyes look so much bigger I'm going back with those two colors and I'm smoking out my lower lash line I feel like this is always a must for me I always have to do this step because it just complements my eyes a little bit better and then applying mascara for my highlight, I'm taking this TLS highlight in the color Goldie, and this fan brush is also by Vanity Planet. It's been my favorite for this month, or what has begun of this month. I've been using it nonstop. This highlight is so beautiful. It gives you such a pretty, luminous finish, and oh, I just love it. I can't get enough. To set my face, I'm taking the Slay All Day Setting Spray by Gerard Cosmetics, and I really like it. It just makes my skin look all together you know like it just brings it all together for my lips I took the NYX lingerie liquid lipstick and embellishment and I also used beauty mark I mix these two so I can do more of an ombre effect the embellishment it goes on the center and then beauty mark goes on the outer perimeters I guess on the, or on the corners of my lips just to create that ombre effect I just figured it would go with the eyes so after you've applied your lips you are all done slaying this look I really hope you guys enjoy this tag me in your recreations don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you chicas in my next video bye